Today, we've got a very unique list for you guys. We're going to look at people who have got an uncanny resemblance to our favorite cartoon characters and TV show characters. These are 10 of the most surprising examples we could find. Of course, everyone knows about Donald Trump being a lot like The Simpsons' Mr. Burns, but did you know there's more? Well, here they are. Let's get started. Number 10, Joe Jonas and Aladdin. Once you see Joe Jonas and Aladdin side by side, you can't unsee it. Both look strikingly similar with their lush black hair, dream brown eyes, and the same smile. We don't know about you, but whenever we see Joe Jonas, we can't stop singing A Whole New World because Aladdin pops up in our heads. The most exciting part is that Joe Jonas and Aladdin also share the same cheekbones. Put them together and see how amazingly similar they look. Of course, their hairstyles are not the same, but the resemblance is still uncanny. Of course, we know that Aladdin is not based on him because Joe Jonas became famous way later after Aladdin had aired. Even their eyebrows are luscious thick black. We can't say the same for the style because Aladdin has his own style, and if he changes that too, he and Joe Jonas will look like carbon copies of each other. Number 9. Josh Saviano and Milhouse Unless you've been living under a rock, you have to have watched The Simpsons and know who Milhouse is. He's the nerd nobody wants to be because he is an irritating know-it-all that no one likes. If you've watched The Wonder Years, you also know who Josh Saviano is. Josh played Paul Joseph Pfeiffer in The Wonder Years during his child acting days, but Paul and Milhouse together? and you will be blown away by the uncanny resemblance they have. Both of them are ultra nerdy and have the same eyes and know-it-all smirk. Of course, nobody wants to resemble Milhouse because the audience did not like the character due to all the smartness and quirks. We wonder if the character of Milhouse was based on Paul, as both of them had the same qualities and face. Saviano's nerd days are behind him, and he is now a dashing man. Once you see the resemblance between these two, you will not get it out of your head. That's just how mind-boggling it is to see both of these characters look almost the same. Number 8. Neil Patrick Harris and the Riddler from Batman If you've watched How I Met Your Mother, you know who the legend, wait for it, Derry Neil Patrick Harris is. He was one of the main characters, and the series made him a famous actor in a short span. What we find interesting is that he looks like the Riddler from Batman. Both Neil and the Riddler have a chiseled jawline, wide grin, and fair hair, which is what makes them look so similar. If Neil wore the costume of the Riddler with the hat and the eye mask, it would be like the animated character came to life. Even the way they smile looks similar, and once you see it, you will not look at Neil the same way ever again. If any director is looking to make a Batman musical, then Neil Patrick Harris is a perfect part for the Riddler. He is a great actor, and he has a charisma that's hard to beat, which is also similar to the Riddler being, you know, the trickster and all. Number 7. Steve Harvey and Mr. Potato Head you might be in fits of laughter hearing this comparison, but it is true, so brace yourself to see Steve Harvey and Mr. Potato Head in the same frame. Although you've probably heard of this before because at least one person mentions this on an episode of Family Feud each time. So if you watch Family Feud, you know it precisely what we're talking about. From the ears to the smile to the mustache and head, everything about Mr. Potato Head resembles Steve Harvey. Of course, you can't compare the pink ears, but removing those, they look like a carbon copy of each other. We love the sense of humor Steve Harvey has about this, and he does not get offended every time someone brings it up. If we were in his position, we would get annoyed fast after all the Mr. Potato Head comments. Instead, Steve Harvey laughs it off and comes back with his own joke at the person making these comments. And that is how you deal with roasts, ladies and gentlemen. Number 6. Nicki Minaj and Mrs. Potato Head you may have heard of Steve Harvey and Mr. Potato Head, but we're sure you haven't heard of Nicki Minaj resembling Mrs. Potato Head before. Even though Nicki Minaj doesn't look like Mrs. Potato Head most of the time, one time she had on purple eyeshadow with coral lipstick and she looked exactly the same. Nicki Minaj is too glamorous to look like Mrs. Potato Head at all times, though. We're sure Nicki Minaj will not go for that look again, making her look like Mrs. Potato Head. However, we do admire the bold makeup choices over the years because one needs high confidence to pull off such looks. Do you think Nicki Minaj can closely resemble Mrs. Potato Head? If you do, let us know because we'd love to see how many of you agree with us. We know it's a little out there, but we can closely see the resemblance between them. Number 5. Danny DeVito and Mr. Spacely We don't know about you, but our childhood was filled watching back-to-back -back episodes of The Jetsons, and we loved every character. 
Except Mr. Spacely sometimes. That is why we were blown away when we realized that Danny DeVito resembles Mr. Spacely greatly. We're not the only ones pointing it out, as over the years many others have pointed out the same thing. Danny DeVito is one of the most versatile and unique actors, but what makes him resemble Mr. Spacely is the combination of his hairstyle and his height. When you notice these two things, it will be difficult for you not to see the similarity between these two characters. Sometimes we even think he tries to look like Mr. Spacely on purpose. He's gotta, he's gotta have that little, little mustache. We assume he's a fan of the Jetsons too, and he likes playing along with his fans who point out this resemblance. If you have never watched the Jetsons, it's time to see and understand what we're talking about. You will not be disappointed. Number three, Cal Drogo and Scar. Because The Lion King came out decades before the Game of Thrones show, we can safely say they got the inspiration of Khal Drogo from Scar. Their face and expressions look too similar for anyone not to notice the difference immediately. Besides that, even the way their characters are portrayed is similar. For example, Khal Drogo and Scar are alpha males, burly, leaders of their pack, and brutal in any physical fight. No better character embodies Scar than Khal Drogo. Of course, Scar was a manipulator and a villainous character, but not Drogo. Apart from that, Drogo kills Scar in the looks department as he is way too gorgeous and bulky than Scar. We would choose Drogo any day if we had to pick between these two. If you also agree that both of them look the same, let us know because we would love to hear your thoughts on our observation. Number three, Miley Cyrus and Cynthia. Another cartoon we'd loved during our childhood was the Rugrats. And if you've seen the cartoon, you know who Cynthia is. She was the bald chick with blonde hair shooting out like spikes from her head. At one point, Miley Cyrus had the same spiky blonde hair and we couldn't shake off the resemblance between these two. The singer looks precisely like Cynthia and it's hard not to see it once you notice the resemblance between them. Of course, Miley keeps changing her hair and looks so much that she looks like one person person one minute and another the next minute, so you can say that she's looked like many cartoon characters over time. Maybe Miley does it intentionally because she wants to look like a unique character. Who knows? The singer keeps surprising us every time with many of her unique makeup and clothing looks. We can't wait to see what she comes up with next to compare her to more cartoon characters in the future. Number 2. The French Angel and Shrek you may have not heard of this before, but the French Angel was a professional wrestler back in the 1930s. He was brutish looking and everything about him resembled Shrek. From the lips, to the face, to the bald head and ears, this man is a close copy of Shrek, and we can't unsee this after looking at the resemblance between them. Even their personality is somewhat the same because Shrek was also incredibly strong, just like a wrestler, and he was tall compared to the ogre standards. The French Angel was a professional wrestler, so there is no doubt he was strong and tall as well. If both were not good human beings, they would probably be tyrants due to their physical appearance and strength. We hope that you can see the resemblance too because it took us a while to dig up photos of Maurice Tillet, aka the French Angel from the 30s. Let us know if you think there's a resemblance there, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Before we move on to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Ned Flanders and Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon, Edna Mode and Linda Hunt, Lionel and Carrot Top, Mr. Burns and Larry King. Number one, Walter White and Ned Flanders. Breaking Bad is one of the best TV shows to exist. And if you haven't seen the character Walter White, you are missing out on some fantastic TV. Just like Ned Flanders in The Simpsons, Walter White is the perfect neighbor who is considerate, kind, and will always be there to help you in your time of need. Of course, the major twist is that White is a drug dealer, unlike Flanders. Flanders is only a dealer of left-handed goods. Both resemble a lot, especially when you compare their glasses, mustache, hairstyle, and overall look. Maybe Ned also has some skeletons in his closet behind the good neighbor facade, just like White. Of course, we never know this because Flanders is just a cartoon character. We were shocked to notice the resemblance, but now we can't go back to seeing Flanders and White in the same way. If we ruin Breaking Bad or The Simpsons for you, then too bad, but you have to appreciate the resemblance between these two. Maybe Walter White was based on him. We'll never know. So there you have it, 10 people who resemble our favorite cartoon characters. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments section. If you want to keep seeing videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon to never miss out on another video from us.